If you like this video or content, please give me a subscribe. If you like the actual video, give me a thumbs up. But anyway, let's continue on with the video. Hello, welcome to the Retro Show. I'm Mike, and we're going to be looking at new ROM hacks for your Atari 2600. If you're stumbling upon my channel and wondering what's going on, I normally play homebrew games, hacks, and game modifications for retro systems. But anyway, you're more interested in new ROM hacks for your Atari 2600? So stay tuned. Hello, welcome back. So this is more ROM hacks for your 2600, or Atari 2600. This is a hack or sequest called Mutant Sea Jellyfish. I'll put all the links below, of course. So the oxygen has been replaced by air, and you're in, oh, not gonna do that. Pro tip, ooh. Oh, I put us two players, oops. One, two, one, all right, there we go. Why did I put just two players? I don't know, I don't know. Oh, you're eating them. Oh, I get it, you're eating them in the hunger. The hunger. So instead of saving them, you're eating them. Ah, that's cute. Once you eat them all, you go back for oxygen. Oh, you eat them, you eat them above sea level. Oh, that's, okay, I get it, I get it. I know the score. That's a clever hack. Oh, and then you eat them up above. Num, 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 num. He wants some nummies. Oh. Can I? Oh, 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 I, he eats one. Okay, he eats one little, he eats a guy. Must have human flesh. The only thing that will sate me is human flesh! Uh. Okay, I have to eat something. Where are you f oh. Okay, oh, 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 oh. All right. Noise, noise. Okay, why did he still move? That would suck. So are the dolphins trying to save him? Are these like dolphins? Oh, that's kind of, all right. These are dolphins. I bet you these are dolphins that are trying to save the humans. Oh. Get out of the way, humans, instead of chasing them. Oh, I get it. I get your... Ooh. This is a complete hack. This makes sense at all. This makes a lot of sense. I'm a mutant evil um, jellyfish, and the dolphins are saving the humans by chasing them away. And I only can eat above ground. I can only eat above ground to, I can't eat underwater, I can only eat above ground. Okay, I I get I get it, I get it. So this is Tutankhamen, uh, the definitive editions as they call it. So I'm gonna close this, close this, throw this. So I will put, um, you can, um, uh, anyway, I was going to put a picture, but trust me, maybe I will, um, about the comparison of the differences. But if you played two Tutan common before, you'll know the differences. I have the game and I looked it up online and it actually shows a lot of differences, like, especially with the graphics, the arms, 
um, the treasures. When he dies, the skull's different. There's little changes, and I like it. I love me to toot common. I don't think the monsters have changed. Oh, yes, it have. Yes, it have. The, dead anim the uh, death animation has changed. May I put a link on the videos? Oh, no. Why? But why? But why? Uh... Okay. No, no, go away. No, 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 no. <sighs> Is this the ending? Nice. Oh, that's a turtle? That's a jackal. That's another turtle. Okay, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Come on. All right, then. Gets stuck there, which is fine. I don't mind him getting stuck there. Oh, he just like smashed me. Uh, no, 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 no. Ah, okay. Go away, go away, go away. Let's try this again. I still like the Vic 20 version of this game, but I have to get it for the, um, oh no, no. Wow, it's just a barrage of, e of evil bad guys. There we go. Come on. Go away. There we go. How am I supposed to... How... Mm. Moo. Moo. Alright, let's not do that. Alright, let's not mess it up. Alright. Unknown territory. It's been a while. Oh. Uh, no. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Go away! Next game is another Popeye hack, but they improved the graphics a little bit more. They improved olive oil, uh, a bit of Popeye and Bluto. And again, if you want to take a look at the original version, I'll put a link below if you want to see the original version, like for video. Oh. 
<laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, that was dumb. Okay. No sea hag. Okay, you gotta do it at least once. Once the um boink. Does it come out of the water? Yeah, it comes out of the water. Oh, oh he jumps down. It looks like he's throwing cans from his belly, which he's not. It's just the limitations of the graphics, but it's kind of funny anyway. Oh. Ah! Usually he throws cans at the end of the level. For those who don't know, this was my first... Um, there we go. So this was, like, when I got... The first game I ever got for my Atari... Um, 8-bit system was... Popeye. I remember I got it from Consumers Distributing in Canada. So, who those who were in Canada knows exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, ho, ho, he just got me. Bastard. So, just consumers distributing was a very unique store. You didn't shop as traditional. As tradition. So... You would go into the store, and it was just a very small floor. There was no inventory. It was just a bunch of um, it was just a bunch of magazines, and they had some inventory like behind the counter, but nothing like that. Nothing really spectacular. Like it was just okay. Oh. Okay, I'm going to finish my thought, and I'll play some more. Oh. Okay. So, anyway, you would have these um, magazines on little desks, whatever, like counters, and then you would go through the catalog, and using a little pencil, you would write down the code of the product you give it to the cash the, the person behind the counter they would retrieve the item and you pay for it very unique so the store wasn't very well it was big but it was mostly storage very interesting idea didn't last but still and i think many years later that's how i got was this the Sega CD? 
No, the Sega CD I got for my brother was at Canadian Tire. But I got... Oh, I got... Um, I remember I getting an action figure for my... Steve, which is my brother, youngest brother. It was a He-Man Activision... Uh, He-Man Activision. He-Man action figure for... Um, for Masters of the Universe. It was Many Faces. I still remember that. Come on. All right. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my tales of, <laughs> of my youngins, my young self. And I hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoy making them. And for the YouTube stuff, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. And maybe if it's super nice, maybe give me a subscribe. And until the next video, this is Mike. Signing off.